There's a storm brewing in the world of AI chips, not just a shift in technology, but a seismic collision of ambition, power, and survival. At the heart of it, two superpowers stand on opposite sides of the digital battlefield, the United States and China, each racing to define, uh, define the next era of intelligence, each unwilling to blink first. But amidst this growing tension, a name that once seemed sidelined is now taking center stage. Huawei, yes, the same company that was blacklisted, sanctioned, and labeled a national threat, the same Huawei that the West believed it had buried. That Huawei is now rising from the ashes and rising fast. And the most shocking part, even the West is beginning to acknowledge it. Just days ago, NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, the man at the helm of the world's most important AI chip company, made a statement that sent ripples across the entire tech world. If the United States doesn't want to participate in China, he said, Huawei has got China covered, and maybe even everyone else. Let that sink in. The CEO of NVIDIA, the very symbol of American AI dominance, is warning his own country that isolating China could backfire that by shutting Huawei out, the US might just be shutting itself out of the future. This isn't fear-mongering, it's a reality check. While America tightens export bans, revokes student visas, and draws red lines around cutting-edge semiconductor technology, China has been quietly building something far more enduring, a domestic tech infrastructure, a homegrown AI ecosystem, a fortress of talent, factories, and determination. And in the center of that fortress, is Huawei. Yes, Huawei's own CEO, Ren Zhengfei, has humbly admitted, we're still a generation behind the US in chips. We're not that great. But don't mistake humility for weakness. That statement wasn't surrender. It was motivation. Because while the US is debating policy that China is executing a plan, a plan that goes beyond trade wars or tit-for-tat sanctions, a plan to become self-reliant in semiconductors, to train the next generation of AI engineers, to design, fabricate, and scale chips without relying on American technology. And Huawei? They're doing it with fire in their veins. The company has already begun launching its own AI chips, the Ascend series, which may not yet rival NVIDIA's GPUs in raw power, but they are improving fast. China knows that AI isn't just about faster processors. It's about control, control over data, control over infrastructure, control over the rules of the future. And if the West continues to pull back, Huawei will fill that vacuum, not just in China, but across Africa, Southeast Asia, Latin America, entire regions eager for next-gen tech partnerships without geopolitical strings attached. Let's not forget, more than half of the world's AI researchers either live in China or have roots there. That's an entire brain power engine the U.S. risks losing access to. Jensen Huang spelled it out clearly. If we want the American technology stack to win around the world, giving up 50% of the world's AI talent is not just bad policy, it's self-sabotage. And he's right. Because the AI stack isn't just a buzzword. It's the foundation of tomorrow's global economy. From defense to medicine, agriculture to education. Whoever controls the AI stack controls the future operating system of the planet. And while the West sharpens its tools, Europe is carving out its own path. Huang praised the UK as one of the richest AI communities on Earth. He called France a future exporter of intelligence, not just energy. And he reminded the world, Europe isn't just a side player. It's a market of its own. This is no longer just a US-China standoff. It's a three-way race. And the stakes, they couldn't be higher. Because at its core, this isn't just about semiconductors or supercomputers. It's about who writes the rules for the digital future. Who gets to decide how AI is used, regulated, monetized, and who gets left behind? Huawei has survived the sanctions. They've endured the bans. They've weathered the global skepticism. And now, they're gaining momentum. Make no mistake, they're not Jiaosao. Yes, they're not asking for permission anymore. They're building their own ecosystem, their own partners, their own destiny. And if the U.S. continues to back out of Chinese tech, Huawei will do what any ambitious giant would do. They'll step in, they'll scale, and they'll lead. So here's the question. 
is the West ready to live in a world where Huawei, not NVIDIA, China, not America, holds the keys to AI dominance? Because that world might not be five years away. It might be now. The AI Cold War is real, and it's heating up. So whether you see Huawei as a threat or a symbol of resilience, one thing's for sure. They're not just building chips. They're building an empire. And the rest of the world? They're going to have to decide, compete, or cooperate. Subscribe now for more in-depth tech analysis, global power shifts, and the untold stories reshaping our future. Only here on His Transform.